for a moment. And I want to come back and thank you. Father, as a people, we watched a hurricane devastate Texas. Harvey move across the land and bring great destruction that still they recover from today. And Father, we watched in fear and terror as we watched Irma coming out of the Atlantic Ocean, shooting her way towards the mainland, moving across those islands. And Father, in one voice as a nation, we noticed. In one voice as a nation, we looked at the fires out west. We looked at the shaking of the ground in Mexico. We looked at the Hurricane Harvey. We looked at Irma coming. And we said, could this, is this possibly the shaking of the hand of God that He would call us to attention to repent for a nation? Father, we repented. We were diligently to call out and repent. And then, Father, there was another hurricane. Jose turned and left. Then there was another hurricane. Lee skirted those islands and turned and went back out to the sea. And although those blessed islands took such a horrible blow for Maria, yet she turned, went back out to the Atlantic, did not hit the mainland. And Father, I think we would be remiss if we as a people would cry out to you and see you cause these great things to turn and go the other way and not perform the damage that they could have done. Would we not be a people who are remiss if we would not give you thanks, if we would not notice the moving of your hand? Father, would we not be remiss if we are only just a people that bemoan the tragedy that did happen, but not stop and be thankful for what didn't happen that could have happened? Would we not be remiss to not lift up your name and say you are a God that listens, you are a God that hears, you are a God that responds, you are a God that turns your eye upon us and you have saw us, heard us, and responded to our cry. And tonight, Father, we take the time to say thank you, my King. Thank you, my King. Thank you. For Father, blessed be the Lord. For you have heard the voice of our supplication. You are our strength and our shield. Our heart trusted in you and we were helped. Therefore our heart greatly rejoices with you. And there is a song of praise within us. We declare you are our strength. You are our saving refuge. You are the one that anoints. You save your people. You bless your inheritance. You are our shepherd and you bear us up forever. We give you praise and glory, Father. And again we say thank you. With reverent fear in our heart. We heard, we repented, you responded, and with everything that's within us, my King, we praise you, we thank you for it, and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen.